honourable members i ask for this debate to be able to update this house on the situation in haiti following the terrible earthquake of twelve january. the losses are devastating and the damage enormous. up to three million people have been affected by the tragedy and the death toll continues to mount. this is a massive humanitarian and political disaster. our immediate focus is on working with the united nations and the haitian leadership to ease the suffering of the haitian people. Our commitment to rebuilding Haiti is long term. Many European citizens have also lost their lives and around 1,000 are still unaccounted for. We continue to work flat out on all tracks, humanitarian, political and security. Over the past days I have been in constant contact with Secretary of State Clinton, with the United Nations leadership with EU foreign ministers and with Canada, which is leading the Friends of Haiti group. All this with a view to ensure an effective and coordinated international response. To help mobilise and coordinate our response, I asked the Spanish EU Presidency to call an extraordinary Foreign Affairs Council yesterday. For the first time since the Lisbon Treaty entered into effect, we are now pulling together the efforts of the Commission and the Council Secretariat and the Member States in a comprehensive approach under my overall coordination. This is groundbreaking. We had a productive Council meeting yesterday. Everyone agreed on the need for a rapid response and close coordination with the United Nations. In terms of financial assistance, the Council reached the following conclusions. It welcomed the Commission's preliminary commitment for immediate humanitarian assistance of €30 million, Euros, in addition to €92 million Euros in preliminary commitments by Member States. This is a major test of EU foreign policy in the new world of the Lisbon Treaty. The people of Haiti and our own people expect a swift, effective and coordinated response. This is what we believe we are delivering. Our thoughts today are with the people of Haiti in their tragedy and I'm sure all members will want to send their condolences to, to the people of Haiti. It is a tragedy but as Gay Mitchell has said it's a tragedy in a country where 75% of people already live below the poverty line and looking to the future that's something we really need to be looking at. Um, the public has responded magnificently to the challenge of helping Haiti. In the UK alone, £30 million has been raised in just a few days from the public uh, during the financial crisis. So we know that the public is behind us in our efforts to raise the funds for Haiti. And High Representative, I want to thank you for the work you have done in putting, pulling together a quick EU response on this matter. We learned at the time of the tsunami that in fact good coordination is as important as the actual funds we put on the ground. It's not about which flag goes on the aid, it's about getting the aid out there, working with the United Nations to get it delivered. Looking to the longer term, and I'm pleased that there will be an international conference on Haiti, um, I think we need to look at the whole issue of Haiti, about the about its outstanding debt, and I hope debt, the debt problems of Haiti will be on the agenda at the international conference. Haiti owns $890 million to the international creditors, and a large part of that is to the IMF. The IMF has given Haiti a $100 million loan. Can we convert that into a grant? There's no point in impoverishing this country for another 100 years, so I hope you will put that on the agenda of the IMF meeting. I hope that as well we will address other issues and I think you're right that the issue of border with the Dominican Republic is equally important. So thank you once again for the efforts and I hope the whole House will work hard to find a good coordinated effort. Gracias.